Hi everyone, and today I'll show you the easy button for continuum subtraction. Welcome to SETI Astro. There have been various methods for continuum subtraction, but all involved an understanding of signal normalization and pixel math use. Whether that was filter bandpass and exposure time ratios, or background neutralization and white balance using either the stars or the galactic cores. I for one like the technical knowledge side of this, but there is an easy button. Jurgen's toolbox has just what we need for that easy button. Many of you may use it already for running Graxpert directly in PixInsight, but there is also a continuum subtraction and combine RGB and narrow band scripts within the toolbox. There'll be a link to the repository in the description of this video. For those not familiar with adding repositories to PixInsight, it's up under resources, manage repositories, and then you will add it. It's actually this iDeviceApps.de address. You'll hit OK. Exit PixInsight. It'll run its update and then you could restart it. For the toolbox script, there is documentation for it, uh, but it is very simple to use. Both images must already be aligned, be starless, and be linear. In my first example, I'll use the red channel for the continuum and the hydrogen channel for the narrow band. There is a preview over here on the right hand side. And what you will try doing is adjust the amount here until you just have the hydrogen signal in the core without showing many black pixels. So I'll give that a little boost up in the amount. And there is a show black pixels checkbox too and I don't know if it'll come through very well on the screen but it does highlight all your black pixels and the goal will be get the core essentially as dark as you can without getting black pixels and for mine 0.19 seems to be about good so then you'll just hit the green check and there is our continuum subtract data. No background neutralization, no color balancing, no ratios and pixel math. It just, it just does it. And then from here, you're going to go ahead and do your normal adjustment to just bring out the gas in a nonlinear fashion. I'll go quickly through uh, just a, a simple stretch here and again the goal is to make the background almost completely black otherwise that background noise will leak into the uh, final channel. That's pretty good. At this point you could apply noise reduction to both the continuum subtracted image and your continuum image. Okay now we will have to do the same for our oxygen channel. Here's the oxygen narrow band along with the green channel. And I normally like to use the green as the continuum for oxygen, but you could do a average of the green and the blue. Again, we'll go to script, continuum subtract. This time it'll be our green channel and our oxygen data. And again, we'll go ahead and look at the core and adjust the amount until we are just on the edge of seeing black pixels. 
That looks pretty good. And again, I'll just do a uh, quick nonlinear stretch to get it nonlinear. And again, we need to darken the background until it's almost completely black. And now would be a good time for noise reduction on the oxygen. Oxygen is a little bit of a weaker signal. You may want to uh, bring up the brightness a little. And now we have oxygen and hydrogen continuum subtracted data. Now in the toolbox, there is another tool we could use to combine all the data together. So you'll want to go ahead and combine all your RGB channels in a normal RGB image. Once you have the RGB image the way you like it, we'll go ahead and combine our hydrogen, oxygen, and RGB image together using the script. Again, there is in the toolbox, combine RGB and narrowband. We'll go ahead and select our RGB image. And there's a preview off to the right where you can uh, zoom in to see how it does affect your image. We'll add the continuum subtracted hydrogen in the red channel. And in the blue, we'll go ahead and put in the continuum subtracted oxygen. and just tell it to execute. And there we go. We now have a continuum subtracted, narrow band enhanced RGB image uh, with no pixel math, no uh, normalizing to do the continuum subtraction. It's just all in the toolbox to make it easy for everybody. I hope you liked the video and you find this useful if you don't like the very technical approach to continuum subtraction. This was just a quick overview. Uh, obviously you could do a lot more with uh, curves on the hydrogen and oxygen data to really bring out the uh, different nebulosity within the galaxy when you do the combination. Please comment, like, and subscribe.